Wine number two, uh, closer to home than Northern Italy. And it is from the North Fork of Long Island. And it is Horses, which is a sparkling Cabernet Franc from Macari. And it is a pet net. And um, so, so a little bit about all these different things. Macari is one of the premier growers and winemakers on Long Island. Uh, they make some really, really good wines. Uh, not certified organic, but basically act organically and biodynamically. They follow the loot raisonne principle, which is the reason struggle, which is you are sustainable until necessary uh, to save your crop. So, um, uh, but they are, even though they're big for Long Island, they're pretty small, I'd say overall compared to a lot of wineries. And the Horses Pet Net, which they've been making since 2013, which is a good... Um, five years before pet nets became really hot. Um, and I'll explain what pet nets are in a second. Um, and so, you know, they were doing this for, for a long time and they wanted to make a fun kind of uh, uh, vibrant yet also savory wine. So this is a really good food wine. Again, this is a good, good for your late summer barbecue. This might be good for your lobster roll. Uh, this may be good for, um, uh, you know, for charcuterie, uh, I think that's good. Anything that's got like a savory edge to it, an earthy edge to it, maybe um, a dish with lentils, a great you know, late summer lentil salad would be really good with this, I think, and or a dish served over lentils uh, and carrots or something with mushrooms, uh, lighter mushrooms might work with this as well. Uh, Cabernet Franc is great with, I find, um, uh, all things vegetal. So, uh, but, but think vegetal and earthy combined. So pet nets is petillant natural, the, the, the original way they would make sparkling wine. And that is you make a still wine and then you introduce a, um, a little mixture of yeast and sugar or some form of sugar and you cap it up. And then that creates a second fermentation, creates bubbles that are trapped with the bottle cap. And when you open it up, you get the sparkle. So it's all done in one bottle as opposed to um, uh, you know, the other way they do it with, with champagne. So, uh, or they leave a little bit of, sometimes what they'll do is they'll leave a, um, a bit of yeast and residual sugar in it and cap it up and let it kind of go through that second fermentation. So, um, uh, you know, so again, they've been doing this now for eight years. It sells out perennially. Uh, I've never really seen it available in New Jersey. I've usually gotten it like in some of the better shops in New York or from the winery itself. So when I saw it, uh, I, I uh, you know show up on, uh, <clears throat> on 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 750, which is where I see all the wine information, wine industry information, uh, listing where all the wines are available. I called the wholesaler and I said, you, "Have you got some?" And he said, "I've got about um, 12 cases." And I said, "Great." I said, uh, "Give me six and." Um, so we have it. This is our horses. Um, the name horses derives from uh, from from the Horseheads Bay, which is right near the winery, um, and and also it is a um, not as well known uh, fact, but a, a tribute to um, to Patti Smith's Horses album, uh, which came out when I was in high school, and I have to say I had an incredible crush on Patti Smith uh, because of that album, and um, which is which is. Pretty, pretty amazing album. So, uh, you know, listen to it sometime and um, maybe while you're drinking horses or, um, or you know, enjoy the wine separately and the album separately too. But, but yeah, I had a big Patty Smith crush in high school. And I guess that means I probably still have a, a crush on her too. Um, but I also love crushable wines and uh, this is a good one. So uh, enjoy it. Thank you.